Hi, I'm Carmen from the Featherweight Shop. Today we're going to be talking about the hand wheel collar on your Singer Featherweight. This is a hand wheel collar right here and we're going to talk about why you might uh, need to remove this uh, in servicing. So we get a lot of questions here at the Featherweight Shop about motors getting warm or machines feeling sluggish and there's a lot of reasons why that can happen. Uh, one of them has to do with this hand wheel collar and we're going to address that today. Uh, basically, this belt, your belt on your featherweight, sometimes it just grabs thread off the table or whatever and it pulls it behind the hand wheel to where this collar is. And when it does that, it can kind of bind up your machine. So we're going to talk about how to test for that and also then how to uh, remove it uh, and to get that thread out if that's the problem. So the first thing we're going to do is to, uh, we need to remove the belt. So to remove the belt, we, we loosen the one uh, motor mount screw and that allows us to raise the motor up just a little bit. You can lift up on the motor. And once you lift up on the motor, you can roll the belt off of the pulley and then work it off of the, the hand wheel and we'll set it aside. At that point, once the belt is off the machine, I often like to turn the hand wheel to see if I can feel any resistance in there. And if it, it, it should be uh, not hard to turn, but if it is, that can be one of the things that can uh, slow a machine down, which in, in turn uh, generates heat in the motor. So uh, we are gonna find out if this has thread behind it. So the first thing we're gonna do, and I'll turn this so you can kind of see here, is to remove the uh, stop motion knob right here. So to remove the stop motion knob, we're going to Remove this set screw right here. Take it all the way out. Once the set screw is removed, we can turn the stop motion knob counterclockwise, just like we were going to wind a bobbin. And without that screw in there, it will come completely off. And the, the hand wheel washer uh, will come off as well. And once that's off there, this hand wheel should just slide right off of the hand wheel collar. So here's, a, here's another collar off of a featherweight, and you can see this is what it looks like. Uh, it's got a large hole here, and then a small screw, uh, or a small hole on the back side here, and that's where the, the set screw that holds this collar on goes all the way through, and uh, it's what holds it onto the shaft. The issue is that once you remove that screw, because you first have to remove this screw, so we'll turn it to where we can see the screw, and then remove it. This Vera screwdriver right here is the right one for that screw. And then we take the screw completely out and set it aside. So here's the screw. Uh, we'll set it aside. But the issue is, is this collar is not going to come off of this shaft easily. It, uh, it, actually, they're usually on there very, very hard. And if you try to get this off with um, you know, let's say you put a screwdriver in there and you start wedging. If you damage the back of this collar at all, uh, if you damage this, it, it's going to cause cause friction if there's burrs and things on there. And so you got to be careful uh, with this. And it's always been a chore to get these off without damaging because a lot of times they've never been off. And so we have just engineered here a a tool a tool that takes this off very, uh, very easily with no uh, potential for damage. And so it screws on where the hand wheel would go, or where the stop motion knob would go. And you screw it on all the way. And once it's on, this screw here in the middle will pull it off. So this is just an ordinary uh, six millimeter Allen wrench. And as I turn it in, it's pulling that collar off, off of the shaft. We're gonna screw it all the way in. And there we have, we've taken it off with almost no effort and uh, no potential for damage here. Now, see if we can zoom in on this, but this one does have thread caught 
uh, back here around the back side of where that collar is. And there we go, and we're pulling it off. So it's simple, we've taken it off. This would be a good time to uh, clean this. Uh, we have another video um, on, on problems with your hand wheel, like your needle going up and down still. And so we talk about remedying that in one of our other videos. But this would be a time to go ahead and clean this off. Also, you want to inspect it for any cracks. A lot of times we see machines come in where the hand wheel wobbles. And that can be from uh, if the machine's been dropped on its end, uh, this cast collar here will often get a crack in it and that can cause the hand wheel to wobble. Fortunately, it's designed that way because these are easily replaced. We have them here at the shop. And so if this cracks, it's not that big a deal, uh, which is much better than the, than the shaft here getting bent. So usually you can just replace those and that takes care of it. So we're gonna put this back on now. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention is if you're going to be repainting featherweights, uh, always a good idea to remove this. That way you can mask off this area so that you don't have any paint in there for uh, resistance when you reassemble it. So we want to put the, put the collar back on. You need to line up the, the hole, uh, the hole in the collar over the hole in the, in the shaft and put it back on. Now often these go back on fairly hard and they require a little tapping to get them back on. I don't usually use a hammer around a featherweight, um, but you can just gently tap this back on. But before you tap it on all the way, on page 30 in the adjuster's manual is a diagram of how it goes on and also an important uh, factor. And that is you are supposed to put a, they recommend in here that you put a piece of paper, just ordinary notebook paper, behind the collar when you slide it on so that when you tighten it down, you can then remove the paper and there's a tiny bit of gap there which helps avoid any, any friction or binding in the machine. So here we've slipped a piece of paper behind the collar and we'll push the collar all the way on. Then you can put the, the set screw back in. And once the screw is tight, you can then slip the paper out. And that leaves a tiny bit of gap there that will avoid uh, binding in the machine. And then you can reassemble, put the hand wheel back on, put the belt back on, and you should be good to go. Uh, this tool here that we have engineered, uh, we do carry these here in the featherweight shop, and uh, you can find it on our website. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call. Post a question on Facebook, drop us an email, and we're always glad to help. Have a great day.